Welcome back, sports fans. Thursday night basketball hoops are running. The fast break coming at you, beginning our coverage in the international city. Hoko hosting Northside at the Bears Den. A shout out to Diane and Kirsten. They were at the game waving at me. And then Hoko, 12 and 3, Northside 8 and 4. Lady Bears leading by five in the third quarter. Skylar Bailey whoop, whoop, on the outlet scores to push the lead to seven. That's two of her 10 points in the contest. But check out Northside point guard Quadasia Dunham. She dribble drives through traffic, absorbs contact, and gets the ball to go. The game is neck and neck. Hoko Daniel Childs. Danielle Childs gets the steal, dishes to Isley Harris for the score on the break. But on the other end of the floor, Northside's Camille Ridley, number three, launches a three, and that ends the third quarter, and things will get close late. Fast forward to the last 1.7 seconds of the fourth quarter. Northside's prayer is blocked by T.J. Lawrence. She had 11 points and eight boards on the night. Lady Bears win 44-43 to to improve to 3-0 in region play. Fellows up next, Oko running away with the steal early. T.J. Morgan goes coast to coast with the land. Northside's Trey Grain, he's the captain. He answers with some light work of his own in the paint, and that closes the gap. Now that followed up by the Eagles, Cage Williams from downtown. Give me all three of these, and Big Blue starts to move on. Nice defense from the north side. Jamarcus Thompson with a buzzer-beating block shot. To close out the first and more Eagles down the stretch. Jamarcus Thompson, he goes to the sky. That's an alley oop or rim Araka. Northside would lead by as much as 17 tonight. Hoko rallies late in the second half, but they fall 58 to 50. Mount the sales and FPD. We pick it up in OT. Four quarters, not enough for the ladies. Lady Cavs working the ball down to Jordan Partain, who connects on the short J. The Lady Cavs are up by two. Then Partain passes to Sydney Ailucci, who misses. Gracie Matthews, she gets the rebound and passes to Madeline Davis, who takes it all the way to the other end with the layup, and that ties it up at 41. But later on, Sydney Ailucci drives and lays it up and in to put the Lady Cavs up by three. Then Kendall Imner, she would sink this free throw, and that ties the game back up at 44. Late no T, Molly Fitzpatrick passes to Wiley Byrne who kicks it out to Clark Kelly, and that would be the game winner, folks. Lady Cavs get the 46-44 OT win over the Lady Vikings. Fellas, starting you off with some Viking defense. Jerry Nobles, yeah, tries to lay it up, but Corey Gilbert says, not my house, sir. Then John Gutro, yeah, from well behind the arc, diving, swish, Cavs trail by one. Later, Gutro tries to pass, but it's picked up by Jalen Goodrum, who uses the glass of perfection in the Vikings lead by eight. Second quarter, Jordan Jones gets the steal, drives and dishes to Goodrum, and watch this. Somehow he makes the layup even while getting mangled right there. But the Vikings, they would have no problems tonight. 57-36 is the final in this one.